So, uh, yeah, the meds. The meds make me feel like crap. Generally, don't like them. Um, but how am I feeling today? That's a, that's a, this is where we should be going with this stuff. Um, how am I feeling today? Today I'm feeling slightly better. Um, the last couple days were not easy. I had a lot of back pain. Um, and theoretically I had some some kidney pain. Um, because as the cancer cells are being slaughtered, your body, your kidneys, have to eradicate the cells. So if there's like a mass killing of cells, which my doctor said is entirely plausible, then my kidneys could hurt because they're trying to process all of these dead cells. So I've had some pain in my organs, it seems, my kidneys. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know, but I can tell you where it hurts. It hurts over here. My back has been hurting me too. It hurts a little bit less today. I figure out how to get up and out of chairs, up and down, sitting up and down. I bought a stool to make it easier for me to get in and out of a seat. Um, so today has been, I've been better. I haven't felt as feverish. I've been sweating all day. Another side effect. I just sweat and sweat and sweat and sweat and sweat. Um, and again, that's a possible theory for that is that uh, fever is uh, my body clearing out the dead cells. It's totally possible. Probable. <clears throat> um, fatigued for sure. I mean, I pass out spontaneously these days. I took two or three involuntary naps today. Um, throughout the day, I take pain meds to sort of help me feel better. Um, but today, I feel all right. My voice is very hoarse <clears throat> today, but it's also the first time that I've been, you know, recording these videos. Um, so hopefully that will get better. I feel very, very dry mouth today. I gotta keep drinking a lot of liquids. Again, to pro help my kidneys process the toxins in my body. Um, I'll have to see the doctor tomorrow. Um, I'll have to see the specialist, Dr. Mark. His name is Tomer Mark, a man with two first names. Uh, you'll see an interview from him tomorrow. I already told him I'm bringing my camera. Uh, so that everyone can have an update straight from the horse's mouth. Um, my eating, uh, I was very, very nauseous today. I've been trying to eat. Did not eat much today. I'm going to have to try to change that this evening. <clears throat> Yesterday I had a pretty good appetite, uh, but in general I have not had a very good appetite. I've been not eating much. <clears throat> Um, my spirits are pretty good today because I feel a little more lively. Um, I'm excited to go to the doctor tomorrow to get an update. Uh, we'll have at least some answers on some things tomorrow. Uh, and plus just being checked up on is helpful. It'll be the first time that I've checked in with the doctor since my diagnosis, since I started the treatment. Uh, to give you a little background on the treatment, it is chemo. Any kind of anti-cancer drug is considered chemotherapy. So yes, I'm undergoing chemotherapy, but it's not radiation therapy. Radiation therapy is just how it sounds, and that's when people lose their hair. Um, so I'm sorry I didn't get around to it to, uh, to this point, but I'm not going to lose my hair at this point. Looks like everything's going to be intact. Thank God, because it's one of the few things I've been able to keep through my early 30s. Um, and I'm young. That's the other thing. The average age for someone to have this disease is early 70s, I'm 33. So I've got a lot on my side in terms of uh, age and tolerance, and I should be able to whip through this treatment, get into remission, throw a party, I hope all of you come to, because um, that's going to be one big bash. Um, and I'm starting to feel better because I'm doing this video. And uh, I want people to see how things are going and see that I'm pretty much fine and uh, that there's nothing really to fear yet. Um, so again, keep the phone calls coming, the emails.
carpeeditor at gmail.com. And uh, I will be back with you to talk a little bit about uh, just everyday stuff, trying to do stuff. It's kind of a nightmare, as you can imagine. Um, there's some funny stuff in there. And uh, we'll talk about it.